All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you guys are new, please subscribe. I post every other day as much as possible. Um, yeah, I do have a um, 2000 MR2 Spyro that's undergoing a case swap right now, as you guys know. I'm um, getting that running right now. And actually, I see something. And today, it's gonna be new car reveals coming up on me right now. There it is. It's my new. Corvette, Corvette. Just kidding, guys. But by the title of the video, you guys did see um, a new car reveal. And yes, this is just gonna be a daily. My brother actually bought this car first. Um, he was looking for a car at the time and then actually figured that, you know, he didn't need it right now. And so I decided to buy it off of him. Um, it's a very, very nice build. Um, and, you know, it's just something that was a little bit unexpected. I got it for really, really affordable. Let's just say that, you know, this is still going to be more affordable than um, an MR2 OEM hardtop. So, um, that being said, let's not stall this anymore. Here's the new car, and this one's a special one. That's not how I actually got the car. This is how I actually got the car. There's not really much to look at on the outside or the inside really. Obviously a stick ship, obviously it's a Toyota Corolla, it's a 2005, but this one's rare. It's an XRS. Now, there's no official number of how many, oh, now, there's no official number of how many um, were made, but the reason why the XRS of this generation is rare is because it came with a Lotus. It came with a very special motor underneath the hood. Now, this is the 2ZZ motor, which a lot of you guys know um, that MR2s, a lot of people swap in, but it's the same motor that it goes into the Lotus. Now, there are like slight differences, I believe, on the Exige ones, but it's basically Lotus 2ZZ motor. It shares the same one, so it has that infamous lift, um, which is gonna be very, very nice to have. And I'll just show you guys a quick video. Um, this one does have a little bit higher mileage. Pretty much it. Now, there's a lot of things that I wanted to do today. I need to get rid of these stupid quick release things. Now, if you guys have this other car, uh, it's you know to each their own. You guys can have their own taste. I just don't like that look. I don't like it. Doesn't really need it. There's bumper tabs on there. I don't know why they're added on. So obviously there's holes that were drilled and stuff. So I'm gonna have to remove it. I put some plugs in there. Um, and then I'm gonna be doing, of course, all the maintenance. We already did the transmission and engine oil, my brother did when he owned the car. I'm gonna be doing lift bolts, which are very, very common on this. I'm gonna replace that. I'm gonna get a new intake setup. Um, you know, these headlights came stock. The body kit's all stock. So this is all the OEM body kit um, from Toyota. The XRS came with the TRD, um, you know, sport pack, uh, the, this came with the S style or the TRD package on here. Um, and then these headlights are aftermarket. It did come with aftermarket tail lights and some other stuff. It's window, it has some tints. Um, it's on stock suspension, all is completely stock. Um, and it has the Anki RPF ones. Um, they're 17 inch ones. Um, and like I said, everything else is stock uh, on the interior and everything. There's a subwoofer and a radio. And that's pretty much it. So not many things done to it, which I like. I'm not going to be doing much to it either. Obviously, the fogs are aftermarket too. They're yellow tinted. I'm going to be blacking those out. I'm going to get rid of the quick release and do some maintenance on the car. 
uh, maybe change up the wheel setup, clean up some of the damage that's on there. Uh, I think this is just a popped out bumper, but I gotta you know redo the tab over there. Uh, and there's a little bit of fender damage over here, so you guys can see that. Uh, I'll be able to see it better from this angle. Yeah, you can kind of see it right, right there. But uh, besides that, you know, just normal rock chips and stuff. You know, just silver mesh on here. Um, I got, I went ahead and bought a brand new black one, so I don't have to, you know, paint it or anything. It does need a pretty good wash. Um, there are some dents and dimples along the side of the car, but you know, this is just a very, very affordable car. I thought that, you know, I might as well pick it up, might as well drive it. It's so fun, and I'll show you guys what the lift is like on this thing, but it is awesome. So there are a few mods that I first tackled first. The first one was one inch spacers all the way around. Did end up having a bit of poke, so I got that fixed out with some white line camera bolts. Um, I got an alignment, having negative two and a half degrees in the front, negative 1.5 in the rear. Then I got rid of this old short ram intake and put on a new in-gen cold air intake that wraps to the front bumper, the blacked out grill, carbon fiber license plate delete, and an STI lip. Then we got those aftermarket Altice taillights. And that was pretty much it. That's pretty much all I did. I did some maintenance stuff, but the blacked out grill, the new taillights, got rid of those quick release things that I was talking about on the bumpers, cleaned up some of the paint, still needs the detail, got an alignment so it handles a lot better, placed some of those camber bolts, um, because before, I think it has like some positive camera in the front. But that's pretty much all I did. I still have some small stuff to do. I did put on those window visors. Um, but I'm still going to be getting a few more mods here. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers. That's crazy to say. I'll see you guys next one. Stay positive. Dream big and execute.